So I almost died from loss of blood from being severely anemic and having out of control fibroids, uterine fibroids. So the fibroids and the anemia were working hand in hand to kill me. Every month, because I had the fibroids, um, it would cause my monthly flow to be outrageous. It was a, an extreme amount of blood loss every month. And I was not taking care of myself. I was not taking my iron pills. I was going through a domestic violence situation and I was not taking care of myself. I had lost myself in the pain and brokenness of my heart and my home. And I just wasn't taking care of my my health. I was focused on my, my family and trying to deal with the hell that I was in. So I had no idea that my life was in danger until I left. God had spoken to me and told me to let go. And uh, to leave. And so I did. He made a way for me to leave and I left. And that was very traumatic and painful in itself because I literally had to um, argue and was harassed all the way out the door. Uh, and it was just messy, messy, messy. So I left. I drove 1,100 miles, moved to a new city with my my Doberman Duchess and my broken, shattered heart and God. So I get to the new city and I decided I wanted to get healthy, went to the doctors because I wanted to get all my levels checked, my blood pressure, cholesterol levels, all those things checked before I started my regimen so I could do a comparison before and after. That was a Friday. Sunday, my doctor calls me and tells me that I need to get to the emergency room mucho pronto, like right now. And I'm and get a blood transfusion. Clutch my pearls, a blood transfusion, ma'am. Do you have the correct person? I guess I'm. Healthy. I've always been healthy. I know I'm. I get, you know, tired or uh, short of breath or exhausted real easy now. But I just figured, you know, that's because I'm not in shape. I haven't been taking care of myself. I need to get it together. But uh, emergency room blood transfusion. So she told me to go to any emergency room that she was going to put notes in the system. Tell, just go in there and tell them my name and tell them that my hemoglobin is six and I need a blood transfusion immediately. So I'm scared. I, I go to the emergency room and 
uh, I get some blood, but then she wraps a whole team of doctors around me. Thank God. Thank you, Tracy Nielsen. You're an awesome caregiver. Right now she's in South Carolina. So if you're in the South Carolina, Charleston, South Carolina area, Tracy Nielsen is the bomb. She saved my life. So she um, formed a team of a hematologists. I had to get a gynecologist, uh, her, and everybody is working together to get me together. So the hematologist runs her tests and she tells me that, you know, I don't need to get blood transfusions. I just need to get iron in my body because there was no detectable iron in me for my body to be able to produce its own red blood cells. Once I had enough iron in me, my body would produce its own red blood cells. So she put me on iron infusions and that lasted for a month or so. And then uh, iron pills. So then I go to the gynecologist and they take ultrasounds of my uterus. And indeed, I had fibroids. I had one that was 18 centimeters. Oh no, um, my uterus, my, my whole uterus, I think it was like, they told me that my uterus was the size of as if I was five months pregnant. The fibroids were so big. And I had uh, like three, three of them. So the doctor says to me, well, since you bleeding, if you bleeding like a stuck pig every month, then um, we just recommend you go ahead and get a hysterectomy. I took offense to that doctor speaking to me like that. I should say his name. He was a terrible. Uh, I never went back to him. And uh, I didn't listen to what he said either. Talking about I should just go ahead and get a hysterectomy. Fool, this is my body. This is my body. This is a huge, that's a huge ask. That's a, that's a huge you know, thing to just throw at somebody. How about you just go cut your balls off? How about that? So anyway, um, I took offense to his candor and, and the way that he spoke to me, um, he bringing up an animal at all. Now I'm wondering, is this, he, is he racist? What's, what's the deal? Why does he not care about my feelings? He's not being gentle with this. This is harsh news to tell any woman, you don't know how she's going to take it. You don't know what my plans for my future are to just, you know, poo poo my uterus. And then, oh, I don't even want to say that. But, uh, so I didn't see him anymore. I, I quickly changed gynecologists, but uh, and the next gynecologist that I went to, she was a woman and, uh, she seemed nicer. I could deal with her or she, she was just better all around. So anyway, she put me on a medication called my Fembri, which stopped my period. And I, yeah, of course it's convenient not to get your period. You know, who wants to have a period every month. It's, um, nobody wants to be, uh, to go through that, but there's a reason for our periods. You know, you are shedding, uh, toxins and things that need to come out of your body. Um, I don't know. 
Maybe that's not true. That doesn't even sound like it makes sense right now that you got to have your period every month because it's releasing toxins. So what happens when you get pregnant? Is your baby just filling up with all the toxins in your body? That don't make sense to me at all. Anyway. <laughs> that's a whole sidebar conversation. <laughs> Forgive me, forgive me. <laughs> anyway, um, so I started going on a hunt for uh, natural remedies for fibroids. And I found this sister on YouTube. She had fought fibroids twice. The first time she got the surgery to have them removed, not a hysterectomy, but just the fibroids because she's a young woman. Um, and then she, the fibroids came back. The fibroids came back and she was, she could not, she was not trying to do the, um, the surgery again. Um, I'm going to link her video on her experience and the things that she taught me because now my fibroids are shrinking. My my uterus is an inch and a half smaller already just after one month of following the sister's advice and taking the products that she recommended. So, um, yes, I found her video. Every product that she said that she took, she found um, a... Um, multivitamin for women that balances your hormones for specifically around your menstrual cycle my happy flow i put um there's a link in the description for that she uh was taking um a little regimen not not nothing nothing major but just like five uh uh about five different products to add to the vitamins, you know, that she's taking or that I'm taking every day. I take vitamins every day. Uh, and her fibroids completely um, came out of her. They they complete, completely came out of her. Like it was kind of like a birth experience for her. Um, but I saw several different fibroid stories where they were just gone. They just dissolved, right? I learned so much. So I'm not going to go through all of the things that that sister um, goes through to educate because she does a very wonderful job of explaining what these products do and how they heal you and the different things, blockages and imbalances in, in your body that are causing you to get these fem, uh, fibroids. Uh, it's extremely educational. If you are struggling with fibroids, I highly suggest that you watch her video because it is making all the difference for me. After one month of taking all the supplements that she recommended my period went back to normal before um uh, my fibroids have grown in stages right and so like when they were about to kill me i noticed huge blood clots huge blood clots a lot of them the whole time that i was uh, menstruating huge blood clots it was scary it was very scary um, after 30 days of taking the supplements um, and I stopped I had stopped taking the my fembry because I wanted to get my period but um, no more blood clots my flow is still heavy but I still do have fibroids my my uterus has shrank um an inch and a half so far but that's just after 30 days so after 60 days i am very much looking forward to the results and i know i know that my fibroids shrank an uh, inch and a half because i had to get an, another ultrasound 
Um, and I asked to see my lab results. I, you know, I always ask to see my lab results now, always. And I expect my doctor, I ask my doctor to break that down for me. I don't understand all these little abbreviations and, you know, um, this level, high, low, blah, blah, blah. All of that needs to be within this range. You need to break all that down for me. That's what you went to school for, you know, um, and break it down for me in, in a way that is not condescending to me. Just because I didn't go to medical school doesn't mean that I'm a dummy. I My expertise is someplace else. This is your expertise. This is what you getting paid for. You break this down for me. And I expect that. If I don't get that, I'm changing doctors. Okay? I don't just stick with any doctor that they give you. You find somebody that treats you right. Anyway, um... Yeah, so I had gotten another ultrasound and the measurements, all the measurements, um, four centimeters, four centimeters. That's like this big, four centimeters smaller in every, you know, length, width, height, all that smaller. So it works. Yeah, you don't have to get your uterus snatched out. We really don't know what they're doing to us, y'all. With the poison in the air, the poison in the food, poison in the water. Y'all hear about the lawsuit that they won $12 billion against that company? Uh, I think it's called B3 Forever Chemicals and they pay in $12 billion. They were ordered to pay $12 billion to all of the water treatment centers in the whole United States. All of them because all of us have been getting water with these man-made chemicals in them and they're cancer causing. And we wonder why the life expectancy is, you know, getting shorter and people are not uh, healthy and so many people are getting cancer and all these kinds of things. Anyway, um, yeah, <laughs> I don't know where I was just going with that. I was going on a tangent, y'all. Y'all got to reel me back in, reel me back in. Don't let me go. <laughs> All right. Well, I hope this video helps you. I hope that uh, you find peace. I hope that you find love. I hope that your life is blessed. I hope that you know that you are special. I hope that you know that there is beauty in you and beauty in this life for you. And... Um, God bless you.